Is blue light emitted by digital devices harmful to your body? Do you need to invest in blue light blocking glasses? Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board certified general surgeon and functional medicine certified physician. Today's topic is blue light. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, share. So what is a blue light? Blue light is actually part of the light. It's a visible spectrum of the light that is short wavelengths and high energy. Usually the shorter the wavelengths, the higher is the energy of the light. And the biggest emitter of blue light is actually the sun. The sun emits several million times more than the brightest smartphone that, that we have. So we are exposed to blue light from our digital gadgets all the time at work, entertainment, and also connect to connect with each other. So this is becoming more and more of an issue. So how harmful is that for us? We will look at three body system, body areas. We will focus on the eyes and we will also discuss the blue light blocking glasses. But also at the end, I will talk about sleep, circadian rhythms, and I also will discuss the effect of blue light on our skin. So how do we know that we've had too much in front of the screen? We start getting symptoms and talking about eyes, our symptoms are dryness, we have that sandy, greedy sensation or heavy eyelids, or sometimes you can have a headache, difficulty concentration, or even dizziness. But if you move away from the screen and then come back, you may feel a little dizzy. So those are symptoms of an eye strain. And they are often attributed to an exposure to a blue light from our digital devices. However, let's go to the source. So the source is American Academy of Ophthalmology. So American Academy of Ophthalmology states that these symptoms that we experience after prolonged exposure to electronics actually are not due to blue light emitted from the gadgets. They're actually due to not blinking to forgetting to blink. And indeed, we do not blink much when we are focused, when we're staring at the screen, and that causes dryness of our eye because our uh, tear ducts and our tear glands, they don't have an opportunity to moisten our eyes. So based on that, the American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends, of course, taking breaks when you're working with gadgets. Try to remember to blink, of course, and other recommendations in general are to have the screen at the level of the, your eyes, but in a way that you're looking slightly downwards, but essentially at the level of your eyes. Another very important precaution is to make sure that your screen has a good contrast. And another one is to decrease the glare and brightness. We all know that sensation if we turn on the device in the darkness, how painful it is, how it hurts our eyes. So we don't want to stay like that and use a device in a prolonged state. So it is recommended that the brightness of the device has to match the environment. So it has to be essentially the same as your environment and not significantly more, because if it's more then obviously it's painful. And also the American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends the 20-20-20 rule. So first 20 is that take a break every 20 minutes when you're working, uh, facing and looking at the screen. Then look away 20 feet away. So you're looking 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Again, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. So that's rule 20-20-20. And based on that, the American Academy of Ophthalmology does not believe that blue light gl blocking glasses are doing anything. Um, they don't believe that the emission of a blue light is significant to cause harm. On that note, and I have posted uh, the reference from American um, Academy of Ophthalmology below, uh, but on that note, there is another article uh, that uh, shows the same that macular degeneration and macular degeneration is a, a horrible disease of the eye is not affected by the blue light from our digital devices. Yet there is also data how blue light in general causes eye disease and that eye disease could be even eye cancer, dry eyes, retinal diseases, keratitis, glaucomas, etc. 
So that blue light exposure is correlated with excessive blue light. For example, uh, for welders who have excessive exposure to blue light. Or we can also talk about lifetime exposure to the blue light from the sun. A lot of diseases of the eye are from wear and tear from the sun. In the same vein as we get skin cancer from years and years expo of exposure to the sun. So the biggest question that I think one could ask is that how do we quantify exposure from blue light? So it is reassuring to hear that the official word from American Academy of Ophthalmology is that blue light from the digital devices is not harmful, but yet is there a threshold where it could become harmful? So that is not clear because I would argue that it's very hard to pinpoint average time that people spend staring at their screens because there are people who uh, literally probably spent 12, 14 hours staring at the screen, if not more, unfortunately. And there are people who spent much less time. So to quantify that would be very helpful. But at this point, we do state that there is no utility for blue light blocking glasses, that they're not really doing much. So that's the um, eye. That's the effect of the blue light from digital gadgets for the um, eyes. Now let's talk about sleep. Uh, here the answer is much more straightforward. The blue light is known to suppress melatonin. Melatonin is extremely important for regulation of our circadian rhythm and for a good sleep. So here the answer is essentially unequivocal. Limit the uh, exposure to blue light by stopping blue light exposure three hours prior to going to bed. So that's the recommendation for that. There is not much to discuss there. It's basically just a recommendation based on the science. And the final component is our skin. And there's also a lot of data showing that blue light does affect our skin. In fact, it causes premature aging with uh, fine wrinkles, um, photoaging as it's called, with uh, um, unsightly pigmentation on the face. And uh, based on that, we do, especially in our office, always recommend to use sunscreen even indoors, even in the winter, because aside from the fact that you do get some light through the windows, that does count, but you also do get this blue light from uh, electronics, from the uh, digital gadget. So we do recommend sunscreen just for the face, uh, ears, and scalp if they are exposed. And that does help in decreasing the damage to the skin. So in conclusion, there is a little bit of, I think, uh, uh, unsatisfying moment here because what I have stated that blue light from the gadgets, from the electronic devices, affect our skin. They affect our sleeping patterns. However, they don't affect our eyes. So that a little bit is strange because you would think that it would affect our eyes. However, there is no data that is substantial enough to state that. And I think that, of course, to use a common sense and decrease the exposure to blue light is the best way to go. However, right now we need to make our assessment based on science and based on science that blue light from electronics does not affect the health of our eye. But I hope that in the future we have more data quantifying the exposure and it may change what I said today. So I think that it will be very interesting to see where that research goes. And thank you so much for listening. Until next time.